Hey, we hate that. You already know who it is. It's the radioactive pop with Danny Limelight. United Wrestling Network, World Heavyweight Champion. And make sure you tune into the Lions blog every week. You heard it here first. Straight from Bobby. A day after we lose a legend like Terry Funk, just the awfulest news that uh, any of us could have expected. Uh, Wyndham Rotunda featured in the WWE as Bray Wyatt unexpectedly passed away. Wyndham leaves behind his four children, his brother Bo, his uncle Barry, his father Mike, Mike Rotundo, Bo Dallas, Barry Wyndham, Kendall Wyndham, his uncle. And it, I mean, where do we begin? It was so unexpected. You know, uh, Bray Wyatt, uh, one of the most creative talents we've ever heard, uh, you know, wrestled under again wrestling under the name of Bray Wyatt broke into the business as Husky Harris in NXT and seemingly made you know made the best out of a bad thing and was able to work his way up from the NXT roster and and, and got himself into the WWE got himself into the main event uh, you know through creativity through his presence, through his his character. Now, Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful is reporting that uh, he was given permission, I'm assuming by the family of uh, Wyndham, of Rotunda, of Bray Wyatt, that, uh, that he got COVID. And he had been battling the effects of COVID for quite some time. Um, but it, it exasperated a heart issue. Um, Sean Ross would continue to say that there was a lot of positive progress towards the return and his recovery. Unfortunately, today he suffered a heart attack and passed away. And this caught everyone by surprise because, you know, the last time we saw Bray Wyatt was wrestling LA Knight at WrestleMania. And I still think, and I, 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 I don't think I'm alone in saying this, that we were all expecting to see him return. We were all expecting to see more Bray Wyatt. Um, it, it's kind of hard to to wrap your head around somebody who's 36 years of age. Uh, again, a father of four, and 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 I don't mean to laugh. It's just uh, that's kind of how I cope with um, loss. Now I'll be the first to admit I wasn't a huge Bray Wyatt fan. He wasn't what I would. He wasn't my favorite wrestler. He wasn't one of my top five favorite wrestlers. But I know that his impact was felt not only in the WWE but around the world. And it's it's nice to read. It it, it makes my heart feel good to hear so many people have so many positive things to say about him. Um, friend of the show, uh, Mikey O'Shea, said that the first time that he met uh, Bray Wyatt was. You know, working, um, working backstage with the WWE at an event, and Bray just gave him the biggest hug, and it meant a lot to Mike Yoshe. And then I heard that and thought, wow, that's a pretty unique story. But it, it, everything I've read on the internet, uh, anything coming from Twitter or Facebook, everyone had such a, a similar reaction that he he gave great hugs. And I I guess that sounds weird to say in a world of machismo and sports entertainment. Uh, but the guy was a good guy. The guy loved indiscriminately. You know, and this is coming off the heels of just a few years ago losing Brody Lee. And you think, wow, that Wyatt family is now two thirds of it's gone. I guess what kills me the most is that I'm a father and knowing that Bray Wyatt passed away with young children. I, that's, that's something that's hard to, it's hard to wrap your head around, you know, um, and a heart attack just makes it 
even worse. And, um, you know, when you look back at his career, when you look back at what Bray Wyatt did, I mean, there was such a overwhelming um, support for his group, the Wyatt family. Um, again, you know, when he, when he stepped into the WWE, you know, they, they didn't want to give him that rotunda name. They didn't want him to be associated with that family name. So he was uh, Husky Harris. I remember seeing him in the early days in NXT, or uh, I guess that was the WWE's uh, Florida Championship Wrestling. Um, and it just uh, it didn't work, obviously. Um, and uh, so, you know, he was part of that invasion, uh, the Nexus invasion uh, that, you know, had given birth to uh, Heath Slater and David Otunga and uh, you, you know it just uh, I always kind of thought there would be more for I thought there would be more for him and you know when he did get to the main roster uh, the, the Cape Fear gimmick that they had for him uh, it, it seemed like it was going somewhere for him it seemed like he might be making that next step and it just uh you know it never really kind of it never really went the way we were all hoping it would like uh you know whether it be the new Wyatt family where they tried to recruit Brian Danielson where they tried to recruit Randy Orton um you know it just never it never kind of worked out now of course uh, the tag team of, of Wyatt and Matt Hardy uh, was fun, but I don't think they ever really got um, got where they wanted him to be. Um, he did win, uh, you know, when, when he was in FCW, he did win the Florida Tag Team Championship with his brother, Bo. You got a Bo leave. Uh, he did hold the Universal Championship twice. He held the WWE Championship once. The Raw Tag Titles with Matt Hardy, SmackDown Tag Team Titles with Randy Orton, and later Luke Harper. Um, but uh, yeah, 36 is too young. Way, way too young. And uh, all we can say is condolences to Wyndham Rotunda, to his family. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I'm gonna. We're, we're gonna talk a little bit more about that uh, with the alliance guys um, right after this. Times are tough now, guys, and it's no joke out here. That's why I'm very proud to be partnering with the Upside app. They're leveling the playing field, guys. They're giving you opportunities to earn cash back on, on purchases for groceries, purchases for gasoline, purchases for food. These are the things we all spend our money on all the time. I believe in Upside. I use Upside weekly. My lifetime earnings is over $408. And you too can be earning cash back on your Philips, your groceries, or your eating out experiences just by signing up. And it's free. By using my invite code, J-A-S-O-N-7-5, Three three eight. That's Jason seventy five thirty three thirty eight. You'll earn five dollars cash back on your first fill up. Use the link in the video description or download the app. But make sure you use that invite code J A S O N seventy five thirty three thirty eight and make money by using the Upside app. Uh, obviously. Uh, you know, we, we are an NWA podcast, first and foremost. Uh, we, we talk about wrestling in general, but our, our wheelhouse is the National Wrestling Alliance, the past, present, and future. Bray Wyatt wasn't really a part of that, but I think it would be insulting if we didn't at least acknowledge his passing. Um, obviously, the son uh, of, you know... Uh, Mike Rotundo? Yeah, NWA royalty, Mike Rotendo, uh, the nephew of Barry Wyndham. I mean, uh, it, it, it's Grand, you know, grandson of Black Jack Mulligan, right? Yeah, nephew of Kendall Wyndham. 
yeah, I, I probably wouldn't have reached Kendall, but I, I was going to get to Black Jack Mulligan. Um, it, it's it's sad. Um, I know that he was a father, I think, of four. And uh, the man was only, like, I think he was 37 years of age. 36. 36, which is way too young. Way, way, way too young. Uh, my heart aches for his family. Uh, obviously, his his brothers and sisters, his his mom and dad, and of course his kids, his his uh, his lady. Um, it, it's rough, man. And this is on the heels of losing Terry Funk yesterday, who we're going to spend a lot of time talking about today. But uh, you know, my condolences to uh, you know his 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 family first and foremost, his friends, his fans. Um, you know, I, I'll be the first one to admit that, uh, I wasn't a huge, uh, Wyatt family guy. I mean, I, for Halloween one year, I did dress up like Bray Wyatt, but that's just cause I think we have, uh, some similar physical attributes, but, um, you know, there was a lot of potential there. A lot of people expected him to be a future world champion. A lot of people compared him, uh, and his, uh, his, uh, gimmick, very similar to that of like an undertaker and, and, and some, something of supernatural. And I don't think it ever materialized quite the way he had hoped for, or the WWE. Um, Jane, you, do you have anything you'd like to say more about uh, Bray Wyatt? I was a fan of the original Wyatt family. Um, and now two thirds of them are gone. I just realized that. And I think about it. So uh, somebody please keep an eye on Eric Rowan. But um, yeah, I was a fan of the original Wyatt family. It reminded me a mixture of like True Blood and uh, Cape Fear, I think that was the movie. Yeah, Cape Fear, yep. Yeah, so I, I thought it was a really good. I liked the character. I liked the gimmick. Sorry, I listened too much to Modern Wrestling. I liked the gimmick. I liked the personality. Very wonderful in his delivery of the original gimmick i think um there was definitely a lot of charisma and something there he wasn't the greatest in the ring but he didn't he had personality get away with that i think so he started doing that that fiend gimmick i think that kind of lost a lot in there but again i very much enjoyed it and was happy to see him back when triple h was in charge and for a brief moment, I thought we were going to get something to get back, but then, I don't know, it's just weirdness happened again. Yeah, it's just a shock, you know? I expected Terry Funk. It didn't make it any easier. No. But I did not expect this. Uh, DK, what do you have any uh, final thoughts that you'd like to share on Bray Wyatt? Well... <clears throat> Like Jaden, I was more a fan of the early days of the Wyatt family as opposed to the theme which came later. And part of the reason might be that WWE never used that uh, use of theme in a proper way. Yeah, I mean, it's strange that to think that he was supposed to be taking on uh, who was it, Brock Lesnar at, at uh, Wrestlemania? This year? Yeah. Past Wrestlemania, yeah. And, and then I don't know if it was if it was Brock that said no or if it was the illness that came up. But... It, it was the illness. That's, that's what, Brock lost by disqualification, which is what was going to get because then Bobby was going to be doing something else. And so he was And then, uh, yeah, then Bobby Lashley was put in to take the place. As some other things changed. And, you know, uh, he got ill, you know. And uh, uh, I don't know who, what, when, where. I just know that last week there was a report that said that he was doing rather well, and they were expecting him to recover, you know, here in the next month or so, you know, finally be strong enough to maybe start working out or something. And 
you know, than this. And it's just, you know, it's just the epitome of people. You don't know what's going to happen. You know, tell your family you love them because tomorrow's not promised. Um, just one last thought that I have, like, I'll, I'll never forget, uh, being in the, um, we, we used to call it the citizen bank arena in Ontario. Um, and one of my first WWE events in like 20 years, I, I went to a taping and this was, this was a few years ago. This was right when the Wyatt family became popular. I mean, this was, uh, they were filming segments for the, the, uh, Saraya night movie so this was uh you know quite a while ago but uh you know when when the lights hit and that music blasted over the loudspeakers every single person in that venue had their cell phones out just waving them in the air and it was such a uh uh haunting image i mean it wasn't like a scary thing or anything but like Everybody was on board with it. I don't know that uh, there was quite a wrestler at that moment that was as hot as he was. And, uh, yeah, it just is just disappointing that it never materialized the way that I think a lot of us would have hoped. And uh, and now we don't get an opportunity to see what he could have come up with next. A lot of people attributed to him being a very um, – creative person and and a lot of his ideas uh we never got to see and uh maybe we'll never get to see i know that there was a movie that he was working on um i don't know if that even got finished or not do you either of you know i don't know unfortunately creative also often translate to tortured yeah so you know hopefully if he was tortured, hopefully he's, you know, he's getting a modicum of rest now. I uh, I don't want to um, speculate on what might have happened. Uh, just as we know right now, uh, uh, a father, a son, a brother, a friend, a wrestler has passed away and um, way, way, way too young. So... Um, I'll just wrap it up with condolences to Wyndham Rotunda and uh, condolences to his family. Thank you for tuning in to the Alliance Blog Podcast, a presentation of Alliance-Wrestling.com, the premier source for news and information for the National Wrestling Alliance. Would you consider subscribing so you never miss a new episode? You can follow us on all social media at The Alliance Blog, and we stream live on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 5 p.m., 6 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern at The Alliance Blog. Until then, we are The Alliance.